anyway, when will we continue with this game? You know, one of my favorite things is this game counts how many kisses you share with your girlfriend. And I'm hoping to continue growing. Only 22 kisses? That's not enough kisses. We gotta get even more kisses up in there. The art is amazing. I really love the art for this game. Anytime I fight a new monster, I have to look at the glossary index. Because all of them... It, the monsters are, like, cute. Here, I'll show you one. They're cute. And I feel bad fighting them sometimes. Look at the frog! Look at the froggy! It's so cute! I have to kill him, but he's so cute. So obviously, I gotta kiss Allison. That's my first attack. I mean, obviously, like, the humor's gonna be on par because lesbians are the funniest people in the whole world. We, we know we are the best at humor. <laughs> I know, this game is really cute. I love it. Plus, it's like, it's, it's a... Uh, Pretty, like, I could play this on probably my phone if I could somehow get it on my phone. It's a very cute, small little game. Unlike games nowadays that are like a billion gigabytes and all uh, take forever <laughs> to download. Anyone can play this game. Listen, I have no choice. I have to kill the cute things. The game's making me. But look, every time I hit the frog, he gets bigger. Look how big he is. Look at that big boy. <laughs> Hugh mirror. <laughs> look at that cute, good boy. Undertale taught us we have a choice. <laughs> That's Undertale. Undertale was different because every like the the you, you, the people around you were the monsters that you would find in a dungeon. They were just people. These are if they're people, they're not communicating that very well to me by attacking me. <laughs> I wish I could adopt them as pets, but the game says no. The game says you must fight them. They're not allowed to, to be cute. Oh, I forgot. But Allison has an ability called Theme Song, and I want to try it out. Changes the battle music to Allison's theme. Also builds her star power. Ooh. I want to do that. <laughs> I just want to see what that looks like. Allison plays some tunes. Ah, uh, heck yeah. Now this is epic. Hold on, I, I realized that I made the game a little too quiet. Okay, I think that's the normal audio. How is that? Is that too loud, too quiet? Let's see. Let's heal. And let's kick. Man, Allison, this is a good song. Oh my god, they're really beating up Claire. <laughs> Ooh. 
This frog be the biggest boy. Yeah, I'm sorry for the audio. Uh, it exploded in my ears and I was very afraid. I was very afraid. Let's also save over here really quick. It's always good in these games to save constantly. Because you're never gonna you're never gonna know if you like soft lock or like I don't know. Mostly soft lock because of a really powerful enemy. Ooh, an inner beast spell book. Let me look at that. Barrosis shapeshifting base physical attacks. Teach a Sabertooth Chomp, Berserker Barrage, and Fire Breath. Ooh, that sounds cool. Hmm. Right now I have, um... Allison has Spellblade, which I like for her. Um... But maybe... What do you have? You don't have any. I think maybe what I should do is... Give you the inner beast, and then give you the spell blade, because then she can give us all elemental weapons. And then Allison can be a cool epic shapeshifter. Look at the snow bats, they're so cute. Let's try this. Sabertooth Chomp Fire Breath. Hmm. Fire breath might be cool. Let's do that. Mwah. Uh oh. Poor Claire's getting beat up bad. Oh dear. Let's heal Claire really quick. And let's have you guard so you don't die. <laughs> Oof, a lot of damage even with the guard. Oh my god, they're really trying to kill Claire. <laughs> no one hits me because I look so tanky. I want to see what this looks like. they're attacking me. Me and my tanky self. Oof. Oof. Look at those. Damage. Yeah, Allison. Get him. And I'll heal you. I'm a really great healer. chest. Let's see what's in there. Bewitched bandage. Nice. A loot scooter. I gotta steal that. Let's always start off with a kiss. That's the most important thing.
probably heal myself. And then let's give myself some more MP. I am low on MP. Let's see if lightning does better on this. It's made of metal. Dang it. Ah, it is weak to lightning. Good to know. Ooh, and we all level up. Mana Drain. That's gonna be helpful. Ooh, a hot fudge sundae. Mmm, delicious. Man, now I want ice cream. I could really go for some ice cream. These flowers seem interesting. Do they grow like this naturally? Hmm. Okay, so this is a dead end? Is there something I can do here? I guess not. They look like I should walk on them. But I guess I can't yet? I might need something, like an ability. Need the power of rain dance. Maybe that's it. Maybe I need water walking. <laughs> but whatever it is, I guess this, the power of the sun is not the answer. You think it would be because you know the sun makes flowers open up. That's what makes sense to me. Power of Naruto running. Yes, I must just I must just run really fast, head forward, arms back. That is the prime optimal running form. You know, you know, middle school was a time when everyone was doing that run. At least everyone who was a nerd. <laughs> hmm, what's over here? Oh, this is this way. Oh no, I talked to him already. Oh, hey! Hello, raiders! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for the raid, Jade! So happy to see you! <laughs> oh, no, you're hanging out in there as well? Snooping. <laughs> well, welcome, raiders! Let me throw some confetti at you guys! Thank you so much for coming in! My name is Wyamulet. I am a VTuber here, obviously. And we're playing some super lesbian animal RPG. What were you guys coming in from? What were you up to, Jade? Anyone who is here in my stream, please make sure to check out Jade. Cute little bunny. Speaking of, are you, are you gonna make some cute bunny ears or some VTuber assets? I, I would love some. I need more ears on this head. <laughs> By the way, if you're new here, feel free to look at our question of the day. That is uh, exclamation point QOD. <laughs> Food related today, which are my favorite questions. What the heck? Rock of you, why are you getting shouted out? Shut up, Rock of you. You did power washing. Oh man, I love that game. I did that last week too. Or was it the week before? I know I played it off stream at some point last week. But understandable. Sometimes you gotta end early for stuff like that. Oop, thanks for the hydrate. I will take a sippy. I have some lemonade here. 
Hmm. Nope, that's wrong button. Ah, rupees! Rupees everywhere! I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> Thank you, mine, for the rupees. Ooh, an Easter themed ass attack? That would be awesome! That would be super perfect for March. Is it Easter in March or is it in April? It's one of those. I'm not I'm not smart. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Ow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Snacko, for all the slimes. I need to play Slime Rancher at some point again. Or actually not, not Slime Rancher, but the sequel to Slime Rancher. I don't think they're supposed to be hard either. They're very heavy slimes, and I have a very weak head. Well, oh. I have been chibified. Hello, everyone. It is me, the tiny wham. It's it's good to be back in the tiniest of cute form. <laughs> Thanks to Slime Rancher too. Yeah, I need to play that game. <laughs> Thank you, I am very cute. Don't mind the fact that my arms are totally, uh, stuck. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll have arm movement. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Confetti time! Arm movement's overrated? Yeah, who even needs to move their arms? I could live without it. All I need is my tail and my ears, that's all. Look at these wiggly ears. They're very wiggly, actually. <laughs> They're like atrociously wiggly. But you know what? It's good. <laughs> Imagine making your own model. Yeah, imagine that, Nova. <laughs> imagine only making models for yourself and only doing it instead of paying someone to do it. <laughs> I wish I could pay someone to make models for me, but instead I just struggle through it on my own. Hmm, I don't really have any need to do anything, so I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, all the time and stress and learning. <laughs> oh, Jade's calling you out, Nova. You don't- you know, I never read any books about it. <laughs> I just watched YouTube videos. It's all YouTube videos and scuffing your models up. <laughs> just till they look decent. Jade would probably feel atrocious at how I've structured my models at my first model. <laughs> I feel atrocious about how I structured my first model. It always starts that way. You know what, though? With the magic of Live 2D, I can now make my OC alive. Our movement through physics is so nice, though. <laughs> I spent way too long just trying to figure out how to get the arms and sleeves to sh sh pop up a certain way. <laughs> I made this model, and then I was like, alright, time to make another one. I learned from some things on this model, time to try over again. Make it wave. If you want waving, that's the ricochet costume. That one can wave. I don't think I have hand movement turned on, though, because I was saving some, uh, some stuff. Yeah, draw order is, it's, I mean, it's cool when you got it figured out, right? But, gosh, you have to put in so many extra key forms sometimes just to get it working exactly the way you want it to.
Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like once you make the first one and you're like, okay, this was hard, but I think I got it. Then you're like, now what do it? Now what's my next one gonna be? What am I gonna do next? You know? Then it's kind of hard. God, when I work on models sometimes, I cannot put them down. I just have to keep opening up Live 2D and like, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna try next? Do I add some clothes? Do I add some some expressions? Do I tweak? Do I tweak the physics? Bushy-tailed bandit. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's look at his little knife. Look at that little knife he got. <laughs> you do everything in one big setting. I have to- I have to be careful. I've definitely- when I made my first model, I, I think it was over the summer or something, I spent like a whole weekend non-stop working on that model till I finished it. Nowadays I don't have that time. And I have to remind myself. You know who reminds me actually? My dog. My dog starts whining at me if I spend too long working on something. He's like, don't forget about me. Don't forget you need to move. Ooh, full hand tracking. Nice. I did technically I did technically make it possible for this one to have hand tracking. You know, if you look, you can see like the fingers and stuff flexing. Um, like it's all separated out for it. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Lazy and I'm already working on another model, so I have not had the time to go back to this one at all <laughs> the bandit has a knife. He's coming straight for us. There's so many of them now. They're everywhere. The squirrels are jumping out of the trees with knives. And admittingly, even though I'm working on this ricochet model for my bot, I am also still thinking of like another stuff, another model I want to do after that. <laughs> That's not even the, like my own model. Like I, I wanted to also make a new, uh, like a 2.0 version of, of my main model. So that's not even what I'm thinking about right now. I am like, I am crazy. I make way too many projects. This is the problem with like learning how to do stuff on your own is then you're like, now what do I make? Now what's, an, what's my next ambition gonna be? Oh good, we have a, we have a thingy we can look at. I like to look at the bestiary entries for all the new stuff. Bushy-tailed bandits. Squirrel-like monsters similar in nature to whole hounds. Their hobbies include robbing hikers at knife point and... Well, that's about it. That's all that you need to know. Ooh, a starfruit. Sweet. Next ambition, going to be king of the pirates. Yeah! That's all. I'm for that. Whoa. Look at this lady. She's awesome. Harpy monk. Okay, gotta kiss my girlfriend first. Very important. Um, let's do that. Let's do a chomp. Let's just kind of date. Let's try to figure out, you know, what you're all about. Maybe I can freeze you. Mwah. Oh, she's poisoned. 
Harpy knows how to yoga. Yeah. Not a lot of defense on her. Mega Potion? Nice! Let's see what it says about her. Oh, I didn't get an entry for her. And maybe I have to find another one. What's over here? A chest! What you got there? A knife! That's me talking to the bushy-tailed bandit. Whoa! It's a cool snake! Look how cool he looks! He even has a little crown. <laughs> oh wait, no, he has the S symbol. That is that is the epitome of cool. <laughs> Do you remember how crazy, like, when people talked about how they drew the S symbol and everyone was like, Oh my god, you did that? I did that too! Like a national phenom phenomenon. Hold on, we gotta start off with the theme song, actually. For this cool snake, we need the coolest song. Soda crown, no Burger King crown. <laughs> I, that, you know what, actually, now that you point that out, that is like the best thing about it, is that it's just a soda can. <laughs> It's not even like a paper crown from Burger King, it's a soda can. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, help? There you go, Allison. You finish it off. Aw, oh, so close. You know, another thing I like about this model is that I just made it much more expressive. I, I kind of went a little crazy on it, but I was like, I got, I gotta make, you know, I gotta give it life. <laughs> also the fangs, the cute little fangs. <laughs> that is another accomplishment I'm proud of, is that I got the fangs to, to work the way I wanted them to. Fang you. <laughs> I really like this song, it's cool. Oh, goodness. There we go. Of course, snakes are weak to ice because they don't like the cold. How long till I'm strong enough to lift Mel over my head? I'm sure you already can. You big buff. You know, I'm mostly fighting everything because I just want to see like all the monsters in this game because they're so cool. I love their designs. Yoink. Mwah. Nice dodge. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
chomp. Oh my god, they're all biting her. Oh, I didn't mean to bite that one. Oh, wow. Feather. Oh my god, Claire's almost dead. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Okay. Um. Heal. For sure. And, um, how about you blink? Bye bye, Claire. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> I like that part of the blink ability. <laughs> It's me, I'm back! I disappeared there for a second. <laughs> I've been bigified. You know one thing? I've seen a how a lot of people do... So my chibi model is a separate model from this one. But I've seen how people make their chibi model from their main model by, by changing the size of the parts, and I'm really surprised that works. Mario? It's a me, Mario! I know, I sound just like him. They got a mushroom? <laughs> That would make sense. Let's try an attack boost on Allison. Ah, so close. There we go. Okay, now I got an entry for the Harpy Monk. Let's see what it says. Okay. A clan of aggressive Harpy Warriors have made this mountain range their personal training grounds, much to the detriment of the locals, capable of performing both single and multi-target attacks weak to ice and electricity. Oh, so they aren't monsters. I thought it was weird because they look just like, like, you know, we're all furries. They look like people. They are people, they just wanted to attack me. <laughs> They're like, we like the monsters, stop attacking our monsters. <laughs> How dare you attack our monsters. Getting a real close look at that boulder, huh, Mel? I mean, it looks important, you know? Mwah. Ah, stop attacking Allison. Uh-oh. Um Let me heal you. That hurts. There we go. No more poison. Did I look at the beast area for Cool Snake? Hold on. I think I forgot. Cool Snake. Probably associated with the so-called trash king that's been wrecking havoc in the Amber Woods. More importantly, though, can you please start taking this monster naming more seriously? This venomous snake is not cool. <laughs> Allison says, wrong. <laughs> I love the fact that we're the one naming these things. <laughs> I think we have really great naming skills. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Um, ooh, a chest. This one's blue, though. Why potions? Ah, oh, I should probably start using my potions, because I have them. But I don't really need them right now. It's fine. It's fine. I should? You think so? Do I? Do I really need to? Ah, she stole our money. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, she hurt. And I'm poisoned. I need to? I don't need to, it's fine. I'm a paladin. I got the healing magic. I got all the healing magic we could ever need. If it'll make you happy, I'll use one of my potions. I have so many potions, so I'll use one on Claire. There. Did it. Now Claire is all healthy and happy as can be. But I could have healed her. She was fine. Whoa, what's this? A door? Does it actually go anywhere? If this leads where I think it does, then I should be able to open it, actually. It's kind of a restricted area, though. So, uh, well, don't tell anyone if I let you in here. And by anyone, I mean Faith. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. This looks cool. Where are we? Welcome to the Astro Plane, you guys. You've been to the astral plane before, Claire? No, you're saying it wrong. It's the astral plane. Sorry, you've been to the astral plane? I'm not letting you two say astral plane again without you explaining where we are in a way that a magical novice like myself will understand. I read a little about it when studying paladin spells, actually. It's a higher level of reality that's made entirely of magical energy. It's always there, intersecting with the material plane, but normally we can't see it. Magic users have been coming here for ages, although most of it is still unexplored. That's a bit of a simplification, but yeah, basically. <laughs> Imagination. Oh my god, it is just like that, mind. <laughs> okay, and what exactly are we going to find here? I have no idea. Let's look around. It's really pretty here. Ooh. There's somebody here. But he's asleep? Oh yeah, that guy. He's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Should we help him or something? Dunno. He's still breathing, so he's probably okay. Let's just leave him be for now. If you say so. Let's save here. Oh, we actually appear as we do in the astral plane. Interesting. That's cool. Hey, wait a second. There's something in the well. I found a critter. Oh, the poor thing. We better find a place for this little guy to stay. I want to look at the critter. A lost critter. Oh, so I gotta return it home. Okay. Oh, this is like a warp area. So I can warp around? Where does this take me? Oh. Oh, interesting. 
Interesting. Interesting. So if I wanted to, I could go to the Green Ridge? Ah, interesting teleportation. Wait, where are we? Hey, how'd your kids get up there? Miss Leon, did you know that there's a door to the astral plane upstairs? Don't worry, that guy hasn't moved for centuries. When he wakes up, he's gonna have quite a backache. Yeah, he's, he does not look like he's in a very comfortable position, is he? They should have left him in like a couch or something. Can we go put a couch where he is? That would make me feel better. Oh yeah, forget about that. Well, just make sure to wipe your feet before you come in. Don't need y'all tracking stardust in the shop. Mom, can I go to the astro plane, please? Maybe for your next birthday, kiddo. Well, I want to get some that. Let's see. I got that. I got that. I don't got that. Maybe I should get this. Just to have it. Let me go buy some new equipment for us. Oh yeah, is this open? Ooh, the fortune-telling shop. How can I help you today? Give me a hint for free, or read my tarot. Ooh, I want to do tarot. Well, hold on, let me give- I want to see what the hint looks like. If you'd like a hint, I would suggest checking my enchanted crystal ball. Need anything else? Okay, give me a tarot reading, please. Ah, a tarot reading. Excellent choice. I'll be doing a somewhat simplified reading here. We'll draw three cards to represent your past, present, and future. Now, who will this be for? Hmm. Me. Well, color me surprised. You don't seem like the type to want to know your fate. What's that supposed to? Please, I need complete silence. Behold, your mortal life lay before me. Past, present, and future arise! For your past, the Magician. This card represents new beginnings, giving things a chance to change your life. Forever. You try out any new hobbies lately? Take any classes at the Learning Annex? Decide to start going to my bingo night at the library? <laughs> oh, I just joined a guild, actually. Oh, well, isn't that nice. The card is generally a very good omen. It's an invigorating fresh start for you. You should be very happy about this. Now for your present, the Hanging Man. I thought it was the Hanged Man. No, it's the present card, therefore the present tense. <laughs> Fair enough. The man is currently hanging. From a jungle gym. The Hanging Man represents wanting to do something without knowing how to. Or why. A spiritual crossroads, if you will. Do you feel like you're at the crossroads, ma'am? Well, from the smell in here, I think I was in a pizza parlor. If only. Lastly, to represent your future death. Uh, okay, you know what? I don't like this anymore. Yes, death. Did you try fighting a yoga-loving heartbeat? That seems like a crossroads. <laughs> the absolute, complete, and utter death of your current self. Metaphorically speaking. Well, it's usually metaphorical, but you never know with you adventurer types. Or maybe you just dye your fur a different color. <laughs> or you'll be a whole new you. Well, there you go. You try something new, it flips your life upside down, and then death. Sounds like an adventure to me. I don't know, I think you might have gotten some of those cards mixed up there, man. Well, cool. That totally won't keep me up at night. Need anything else? No, I think, I think I'm good. Maybe I'll read someone else's tarot in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll do someone else's tarot next time. Oh, there are some odd jobs up on the notice board. Let's see. Request from Polly and request from Pepper. Need help hanging up notices around Amber Woods. Ooh, I will take that. I'm going to tell her I'm in Amber Woods anyway. Looking for help conquering the world. Meet me at Leon Magic. <laughs> Every time I hear tarot, I think of the plant slash food. Well, dang, now I'm going to think of that. I'm not- I'm already hungry. I'm always hungry. Oh, you're right, I forgot to check the crystal ball. Thank you, mine.
Yeah, let's see what the crystal ball says. I forgot I wanted to do that. Let's see what the hint looks like. I'd like some advice on what I should do next. Hmm, let me see. Yes, here we go. With my infinite power, the crystal ball reveals what you must do. Your search begins in the Amber Woods. You can get there by heading east, then north from here. Wow, how straightforward. They don't all have to be clever. Okay, so, yeah. I already know I have to be at Amber Woods. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you, dude. Crystal Magic 8-Ball? What should I eat? Mm. Future Unclear. Must be something unclear. There's a lot of unclear food. <laughs> the only clear food I can think of is jello and water. And lemonade. I guess anything with water in it could be pretty clear. Let me see, can I sell anything? I have a lot of stuff, but I don't really want to sell anything. Let's just buy stuff. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. What is- does Allison have any equipment for that? Hold on. She has a sports helmet. It increases her defense and magic defense, which I think is pretty good. But she doesn't really have a good body one? It increases her defense and magic defense as well, actually. Which is pretty good. Do I have one? I have this. I should probably get better equipment. Better, um, thingy. Hmm. Probably... I mean, this is probably the only one that could really work for me. We're going to take a quick break, guys, so hang on tight. We will resume the game very shortly, but sit back, relax, maybe use that battle command, and I will see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 